Hey everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video I will show you how to use the WP All Import plugin to import post or custom post types into your WordPress website. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So first let's move on to our posts uh, page and we can see that we have no posts whatsoever right now. And I will import two posts into this uh, posts list. And in order to do that, let's go back to our plugins page, plugins add new. And here we will search for WP all import. This is the plugin that we will need to install. I already installed it on my WordPress website. So therefore I'm only going to click on activate. Once I activated the plugin and you WP All Import tab was added to the left sidebar. Let's go to New Import, and here I have three options to choose from upload the file, download the file, or use existing file. I already have a CSV file that I created earlier with the WP All Export plugin, so therefore I will choose the Upload a File option, and here I will choose the CSV file I created earlier. The plugin will upload the file and then it will ask us what kind of post we would like to import. These are regular posts, so I will choose post. However, you have many other options like WooCommerce products, etc. So let's choose post and continue on to the next page. It will prepare the file for us and it will show us what he found along with all the data fields that he found on the file. So this is only one of the two posts that I have. Uh, with the title, description, etc. If you would like to check the second post, you can see over here that it's one out of two. Just move on to the second one and so on. Check the content of the second post and when you are satisfied, just move on to the next step. On this step, we will need to match the posts field with the data that was pulled from the CSV file. So for example, into this field, we'll drag the title because this is the title of the post into the content, we'll drag the content and into the excerpt, we'll drag the excerpt and so on. Now, this is something that you only need to do once because it will change dynamically based on the post. You don't need to do it for every and each of the posts. Some options of this page, such as the images and the custom fields are related to the pro version of the plugin. Don't worry guys, I will show you later on how to get a pro version for a very affordable price if you would like to take control over these options as well. But for now, let's focus on the free version of the plugin. All right, let's move on to the taxonomy and the categories options. And here we would like to export both the categories and the tags. And into those fields, we'll drag the relevant data. So for example, categories and tags. Now, some of them don't have categories or tags. In that case, nothing will be pulled. However, if they, if they do have categories and tags, they will be pulled and assigned to the post. There are not much to do in the next two tabs. The last one is a functional editor. It's more advanced and it's related to the pro version as well. Let's move on to the next step. Here we will need to assign a unique identifier into this import process. We can drag the data from the right to this field, or we can just simply click on the auto identifier button. It will do the work for us and we can move on and click continue. Finally, on the last step, click on confirm and run import. It will start running the import and when it's all done, you will get this feedback notifying you that the import was completed successfully. Now let's move on to the posts page one more time and we can see our two new posts over here and it worked perfectly fine along with the categories and tags if they have some. Now earlier I said that I will show you how to get the pro version of the plugin in an affordable way, right? So first of all, you can get the pro version from the official website. You have all the links in the description box down below. And it will cost you minimum $149 based on the package that you are getting. However, you can get the exact same plugin by the same developer for only $4.99. And the only difference is that we cannot provide you technical support because we didn't create the plugin. We only redistributing it. However, the plugin is very easy to use and I'm sure you'll have no issues whatsoever to use the plugin without technical support. So whether you downloaded it from the official website or from us, just go back to your WordPress website, into plugins, add new, upload plugin, and just 
choose the file that you just downloaded. Alternatively, if you have our plugin manager installed on your WordPress website, again, all the links are in the description box down below. Just uh, search for it from over here, WP All Import, and you will be able to install this plugin along with 5,000 more plugins directly from here. Just simply click on install and then on install again. Once you finish the installation, click on OK and move into the plugins page in order to deactivate the free version and then activate the pro version. So first of all, let's click on deactivate on the free version. We'll scroll down again and click on activate for the pro version. And once you did it, you can start using the pro version of the plugin without any limitations whatsoever. All right, guys. So thank you very much once again for watching this video. Let us know if you have any questions regarding this process. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.